Americans living next to this mess in Beverly Grove are reaching out to Fox 11, saying that the large water pit is a dangerous nuisance that's been around for years. Fox 11, Susan Harasuna with new information tonight on what's being done. Susan. Yes, indeed. We talked to the property developer. Well, this property on Edinburgh Avenue was sold about eight years or so ago. That's not really the problem. The problem came a couple of years ago when the developer started to build a basement, dig out the soil for the basement, and then we had all those rains. A view from Sky Fox of what was supposed to be the basement for a new two-story house. This pit of green water sits on a property just north of Beverly Boulevard and not far from the so-called trash house. <laughs> Residents say they've lived next to the empty lot for years, mostly without complaint. But when the property owner dug into the ground and hit the water table, construction stopped. We've been told for the last least, least two years that it will be fixed. but. It's been abandoned. On a chilly spring day, there's no noticeable odor, but in the summer heat... It gets disgusting. The, sm the stench and the mosquitoes and the, and the different, um, you know, wild animals that come in and out. I mean, it's really, a, it's really a health hazard. The graffiti on the wall suggests the empty lot is an attraction, and neighbors have documented homeless coming to use the porta potty or use this garden hose to wash up. And what's really pissing us off, if the owners won't do anything, okay. Um, what about the city? Where's the city yeah. in this? Jim Grohlman called every city and county department he could think of to no avail. It's a big circle. No one knows who to call and no one's taking responsibility. So far, the only real response came from vector control. That's why we came to you, because we feel we felt like no one's listening to us. Fox 11 News called the property developer. Kevin Abumaj blames the rain for the green water and promises there is a plan. The plan is basically to bring in the third party to hold the water out of the pit because we cannot just simply spill it into the street and get the pumps working. We, we inserted about six or eight pumps, I believe, into the, into the ground in there, enough to suck the water while a leak, while a leak is actually doing, pouring the concrete and everything else. Okay, so the property developer insists that the plans were submitted to the city and that the city should approve them next week, and then they will be able to pump out the water and haul it away. Now, we did reach out to Council Member Katie Yaroslavsky's office. I did not receive any kind of uh, response. However, the homeowners here did. They got a response from her today, which says that they are aware of the problem here at this property. Reporting live in Beverly Grove, Susan Hirosuna, Fox 11 News. So if they do get that approval, is this something that could be done qu relatively quickly? That's what the property developer says, that if the approval comes next week, then the fix will come not long after that. And remember, they are anxious to build this two-story house with a basement because it's been, you know, lying here like this for a number of years. He took over the property in November 2022, he says. Mm. All right, uh, Susan, we will, uh, as I always say, we'll, we'll keep a watch.